and hello everybody welcome back to the channel before we do get into today's video as always make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more celtic content so as the transfer window has just closed and celtic have just beaten rangers in the derby game we thought we continue on by showing you guys some more rangers fan meltdowns because the tears truly are great to hear have a listen right okay Sorry, that was, excuse me, Baron, a bit wasted because I don't think that boy knew what he was doing today. He was trying and trying and trying. And well, I would just have to say, see when I listen to the commentary for these ex-players on Rangers TV, you go, nah, did you actually score 300 goals in two games for Rangers? Like Peter Love in France today. How, he, he must have been brilliant. I mean, I missed a lot of these games with being abroad, but come on, get a grip of yourself. It's not the same Rangers he played in, and he didn't really do that much for us either, by the way. You know, gee, the guy's a break. They're playing with a bad manager, I think. That's just my opinion. I think the manager is uh, one system, that's it, and a stubborn donkey. That's how I can't kind of listen to him about his wee stories, the stories coming together here, the stories coming together there. It's a fairy story. I would prefer to have herpes than listen to fairy stories. Eh, hey, I'm alright. I get two, two or three for my bookings, I think. I know, fuck, I'm sorry. Hey, I'll go to the right side of the, the correct scores, by the way, you know. I'll tell you something, it's easy to pick in Dessers. The big guy's up there alone, all the time, and to his chances, he made them himself. Right, OK, but let me give me a wee minute. Have we just fun? Oh, what was his name, the manager? Mark Warburton, 2.0. Right, uh, no, the time. other thing is, Diamondi, does that boy need an egg timer to wake up to when he pass a ball? But big Dessers, you know, he's he flatters to deceive and he splits opinion and all the rest of it. The, for a start, his first touch is horrendous, right? And it'll always be horrendous. He'll never improve on that. And he'll get 20 goals a season. But he's one of these guys that will get 20 goals a season and no influence where the league goes. Because when it matters, he'll know be there. And there's nothing we can do about it right now. So there's no point in hating on him. We're going through a process. We've got to stick with a program, but going forward, uh, you know, we we need to address the right back issue. So we need to start getting uh, Sterling in his position or that new boy that they've brought in. And I'd like to see them get into the getting a free transfer because you can still sign a free transfer uh, and and uh, get ourselves a number six because we're light in there and all. Uh, but the positives are albeit under difficult circumstances I'm not saying they had the perfect game I thought the boy Jeff they showed up alright uh, I think he was let down with Matondo uh, you know a lot of guys got got, got, their, got, their, got their got their their debut and uh, and, 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 and you know they're not going to face a, a harder game in the Rangers' career and going away to the Pedo Dome, and um, so you've got to pick 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 the positive out of it. Um, Has Andy lost a bottle day? I thought Suter was absolutely shaky the whole game. You know, I don't know if it was. I don't know if you guys know. It wasn't. It was just weird things he was doing, and uh, I, I thought Suter was definitely the uh, own edge. But I also thought Stockwell didn't really help him as much. All right, he was kept giving him the ball back. But I, I, what made worried me, me more about Stockwell was he kept going to the ground. I don't know, you're an ex-defender, not that. Did you think that that he went to the ground too easy? No, the the the, the bottle thing I'm talking about, and I agree with Smurf. The bottle thing I'm talking about, Ronnie, was the. Uh, some of them didn't have a good game, and you're right about uh, uh, sort of being a bit shaky and, and proper doing what you've done. But I, I'm talking about people just 
bottles crashed. Just didn't want you know. I want out of there. Oh, right. I didn't see ah. that. I didn't see that. I, I what I seen today didn't play well. We deserve to get beaten. No, I'm no hiding for that fact. But I didn't see anybody doing a bar such, for example. Just want I want after this part. Right. Apart from Matondo. Apart from Matondo, he wanted after the part, mate. And I looked at the rest of them and went like that. Well, that's all right. Your bottle didn't go. You might not be good enough. Yeah. We might not be coached right. Yeah. But we're getting we're getting somewhere, hopefully. There you go. Take it in the chin. Take it in the chin. I don't, I, bottled it. I don't... Very disappointing, I must admit. Um, yeah, yeah. The, performance, the performance was flaccid. Lacked any spark, any energy. Um, and there was a... I hate saying this, but unfortunately, it was a golf in class and... I don't think Celtic are that much better of a side. They've, they just seem to be that fraction bit more all, all the time on it. Rangers, after, I thought the first 10 minutes, I thought it felt a good start. I was a bit surprised. I thought they'd come out, they'd start playing some decent stuff. But I felt at that moment they needed to take the chance when it came and, and they just didn't manage that. But the window itself has been a joke. I think the stadium not being ready just shows where Rangers are at as a football club right now. I mean, everybody goes on about likes of Ryan Kent and this and that, but they offered more than what some like that Cerny today offered. Nobody can turn around to me and say that Ryan Kent want, isn't as good as what they've already got right now. Yeah, OK, I'm not saying he scored every week and maybe there's things he could have improved in his game, but since the Gerrard regime, this football club has gone absolutely nowhere but backwards. Simple as that. I agree with what you're saying, mate. It's, it's, it's a fact. <laughs> you can't. <clears throat> we can stick with heading the sand and, and, and think we're, uh, we're this, that, or the next thing. But we're no, mate. We're no. We're, we're, a, we're a work in progress at best. We're a work in progress. I'm no hiding. I, I mean, I, I've stuck up for the manager. I've stuck up for the board. And I've still can remain to stick up with the manager and the board because we are a work in progress. There is no way that we're anywhere near where we should to be. But nobody's trying to kid on we are. The manager's not trying to kid on me, and the board are not trying to kid on me. We know what we need to do, mate. We know we, how much needs to be spent on players and what needs to be brought in. We know where we have to get to, and it's a long way, but we can get there. We can get there. Uh, the yeah. day is just a harsh reality, mate, again, where we sit. It's it's a sore one to take. You look at it and go, uh, we win the game, we're in the game for 15 minutes, mate. The rest of the game, we're just chasing yeah. our tails, kidding myself on. Uh, that's a fact, mate. That's a fact. Yeah. Celtic fans, what did you make of the result at the weekend? And what do you make of these Rangers fans who are a meltdown? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video, guys. As always, make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.